I was away recently with two dear friends and we've known each other for just over 30 years. We've seen each other evolve. We've seen wrinkles appear. We've seen injuries come and go. We've seen each other settle into who we are with more confidence and ease. And we talk about the process, right? A lot. We talk about what does it mean to be in our 40s and 50s and 60s? We were all in different decades at one point. And now we're all in our 50s and 60s. And one of my friends said, it's really important to me to be youthful. So I asked her, what does that mean to you? What does youthful signify to you? And she said, flexible, energetic, strong, agile, and mentally alert. It's a great list, right? I want those things too. But I offered her this reframe and I wanna offer the same to you. How about we stop calling this list of qualities youthful? Frankly, I know a fair amount of young people who are not all those things. And, and I have some strong feelings about this, how about we stop asking ourselves as we age to stop aging? Aging is a part of living. Aging is a part of life that deserves to be honored and supported so we can navigate it with grace. Let's ditch anti-aging. What is that anyway? Let's scrap the journey to youth. Let's stop erasing time and experience. And let's claim our experience of a changing body. And let's create a powerful relationship with a body that has wisdom. Let's move forward into the opportunities and challenges of our body now. Pick up practices that invite us to feel the way we want to feel, agile or sensual or strong or whatever. Let's go for body vibrancy, body aliveness, body peace, not youthfulness. In this body, where your body is now, so we can feel at home in our skin in all the precious years to come. 